Hey there. I just wanted to put together a short video on performance condition um, as it relates to the Garmin Phoenix 3 HR. Um, what is performance condition? Uh, how is it measured? What does it mean? And how can I find it on my watch? This is performance condition is one of the physiological me measurements provided uh, by the Phoenix 3 HR or the Phoenix 3 uh, when used with a suitable chest strap. Performance condition is a real-time assessment after six to 20 minutes of activity. Um, it can be added as a data field so that you can view your performance during the rest of your activity. Uh, it compares your real-time condition to your average fitness level. Um, sounds easy enough. I, uh, I noticed it after a couple of runs I'd get about 10 minutes into my run and then uh, my screen would change. I'd get, a, I'd get a vibration and then it would say performance condition negative two or performance condition negative one. And then it would go away. I would continue my run. It, the information was nowhere to be found later. It wasn't in my performance stats. It wasn't in um, any of the inf information or metrics presented at the end of my run where you normally get your PRs, uh, personal bests, et cetera. Uh, so I started to dig in and do a little bit of research and figure out what this mystery measurement was. Um, so here's what Garmin has to say. As you complete your activity, such as running or cycling, the performance condition feature analyzes your pace, heart rate, and heart rate variability to make a real-time assessment of your ability to perform compared to your average fitness level. Um, Sounds a little bit like VO2 max, and we'll, we'll talk about why that is. Uh, performance condition values range from negative 20 to plus 20. After the first 60, 6 to 20 minutes of your activity, the device displays your performance condition score. Um, for example, a positive score means that you're rested, fresh, and capable of a good run or ride. A negative score means the opposite. Um, you can add performance condition as a data field to one of your training screens to monitor your ability throughout the activity. And that's important. You can't go back and check your performance condition. It's a real time measurement. All right. How am I doing in this moment? Um, how does my current ability to perform compare to my average fitness level? And by average fitness level, what they really mean is VO2 max. How, um, when taking a look at my heart rate variability, my pace and my heart rate, um, how, do, how does my performance condition in this moment compare to my baseline VO2 max? Um, it's a, you set it up as a, as a data field in a run or a ride. And you can see here, some of my running screens and here it is you can set it up performance conditions there at the at the top training effect i have here in the bottom left and then temperature i have here in the bottom right so it's not there instantaneously it takes at least six minutes um, and then it, that initial measurement that you're going to get is going to compare okay how am i doing in this second at as compared to my baseline vo2 max so you need a vo2 max and that vo2 max needs to be relatively stable you need to have several runs your watch has to have garmin has to have enough information to get a reasonably accurate estimate of your vo2 max if your vo2 max has been calculated after after one run for example um, it may not be incredibly accurate and you may get a large number on performance condition plus 12 minus 12 plus 20 minus 20 as your vo2 max gets dialed in your performance condition number um, should stay in the single digits negative five to plus five so i get a performance condition measurement at the beginning of my run and that performance condition uh, number goes down throughout the course of my run Right, and that's to be expected. Um, it's a real-time measurement. It's not a static fitness measurement. I'm more fit or less fit, um, like VO2 max is. It's a, uh, what is my performance condition in this moment? And I say it, I keep saying it over and over again because it's important in this moment as it relates to uh, my baseline VO2 max. So how is this information used? Um, I'm starting a run. My performance condition after a few minutes comes in at negative five. Um, so what are my expectations for the run, right? At negative five means that my current performance condition is 5% um, off or 5% below my baseline VO2 max, 
right? So my times might be slow. Uh, fatigue might set in a little sooner. Uh, my performance might be off today. It's a good day, bad day indicator. Am I going to have a good run or a bad run? Uh, if it starts off at say plus five and you crush your run and then you approach your lactate threshold uh, and your and fatigue sets in rapidly, when you finish that run, um, your performance condition will be significantly lower than what it was when you started the run, right? Now I'm fatigued. In this moment, my performance condition is, is degraded as it compares to my baseline VO2 max or as it compares to... Um, how I how I felt when I started the run. Uh, this performance condition is not directly tied to the re your stress score. It's not directly tied to the recovery advisor, but th it, they're similar concepts, right? In theory, you wake up in the morning, you take your stress score uh, with the watch, and you get an indication of how uh, how am I doing on recovery, right? I have a stress score of one. Um, very well rested. I should be able to run well today. I ran a few days ago. My recovery advisor said 36 hours. It's been at least 36 hours. My nutrition's on point. I'm well rested. I should expect um, to be able to engage in a good hard run or a good hard ride today. Um, you, you get out there, you get a positive performance condition, and it confirms those previous measurements um, or confirms how you feel and you keep going and you crush your run, right? That being said, the 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 same is true for the opposite, right? I'm I have a 36 hour recovery advisor. It's 12 hours later. I'm going to try another hard run. I slept four hours last night, and I had uh, rice krispie treats for dinner. Okay, don't be surprised when you start your run if your performance condition is negative two, negative three, negative four. You just can't seem to hit your pace. You're a little tired by the time you finish the run uh, or ride. Fatigue sets in, and your performance condition is significantly negative. Um, I hope that helps and explain what performance condition is or it isn't. The most important takeaway is to know that it's real time in the moment. How am I at this second or at this minute, right? And it's comparing your, it's basically deviation from baseline VO2 max. Every point is 1% of VO2 max. Either I'm uh, baseline above my VO2 max or I'm baseline below my VO2 max. And it's, it's measured I'll, the, basically the same way VO2 max is measured, right? Heart rate variability, pace, and heart rate. One thing that I notice is if I start a run with a negative uh, performance condition and I finish that run with a negative performance condition, oftentimes my measured VO2 max at the end of the run might be a half point or a point lower uh, than what it was when I started, right? Because my watch doesn't have a lot of information uh, that single run causes some variability in my measured baseline performance level and it kind of goes from there if you have any questions put them in the comments below i'll do my best to try and answer them for you uh, appreciate your time watching the video hopefully this was helpful and informative please feel free to like share subscribe to my videos thanks